guys welcome back okay so this intro is going to be really short really quick because i really just wanted to try out this palette today i sat down it's funny because i sat down i pulled out you guys know i pulled out my fall palettes because i'm like it's fall let me go ahead and get a little you know sunset dusk smoky you know something green fall eye look today and my brain just wouldn't let me do it <laughs> And then I looked over at my new palettes that I purchased recently and I saw the P. Louise Worldy palette. Okay, if you guys have not seen this palette, it's gorgeous. I mean, P. Louise's packaging is just absolutely ridiculous. It's, I mean, it's large as you can see, but look at this. You see the sand in there? The sand is actually moving inside of the palette <laughs> so it's just crazy it's absolutely gorgeous their palettes are so thick and durable and sturdy and just beautiful showpieces for your beauty space i mean if you have room for these huge palettes but it's so gorgeous and i said you know what let me play with that today <laughs> so this is the fall look y'all got for today, okay? Hopefully I don't have this purple lipstick all over my teeth. If I do, y'all just, just ignore it. Y'all know it's, it's part of the game, okay? But yeah, this palette is gorgeous. Let me show you the inside, okay? And this mug is not cheap, okay? I didn't even realize really how much I paid for it, I don't think, because you know the conversion rate I don't find out until PayPal sends me a receipt how much I actually paid for something, you know, from overseas or whatever. But look at the colors in this palette, you guys. Of course, there's a giant mirror in there. Absolutely beautiful. But what I love about this palette is the fact that, first of all, they threw some shimmers in here. The other palettes that I have from them don't have shimmers. They're all mattes, which I love. So I'm perfectly fine with that. But for those of you who like to have, you know, a shimmer here or there, they did throw some shimmers in here. You have this blue, this kind of like dark, deep green, and then whatever this is down here, kind of like, I don't know. I can't really describe it, but that's a shimmer as well. But what I really love about this palette is I love the rose. I love the rose of blue. Then you got your row of green and teal, and then you have your beautiful purple and orange and yellow, along with, you know, these other like browns and stuff. So there is a lot of variety in this palette if you like to play with color. But if you just wanna do a simple basic look, you can do that as well. But y'all, this palette is so pretty. And so yeah, I played in this today. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do some swatches. I wasn't gonna swatch it because I'm probably going to end up putting some swatches for this up on my Instagram, which is the same as my channel, Colorful Camille on Instagram. But I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches for you guys right quick. And some of their shadows are softer than others, so you will get, you know, powder and kick up in the pan. But the pigmentation is really, really beautiful. So I just wanted to kind of show you how it looks. You know, I do not mind a little powder, a little kick up when you get this type of pigmentation. I mean, whatever whatever color is in the pan, that's what you are going to get on your eyes. And what I'm noticing about the shimmers is even the shimmers are a bit different. You know, they're not like super duper blinding bright shimmers you know like this green here and then this blue they're very pretty but they're not like super blinding I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch up and swatch the last row on the other part of my hand but this is the first two rows kind of like the blues and greens have this nice soft transition shade here and some yellows, bright greens in there. Very pretty. So yeah, these shadows are definitely a drier, kind of more powdery formula, which I think makes them easier to blend. 
And it's interesting because some of the shades are a lot softer than others. Like I noticed with that dark, dark blue, it was drier. You know, it was a drier, a little bit more gritty feeling when I swatched it. And then this is the last shade here. Oop, picked up way too much. It's all good. <laughs> I got all kind of shadows and stuff all over my carpet <laughs> but this is the whole palette so as you can see this palette is very blue heavy very very blue heavy you got your pops of green in there but you also have an orange a purple and a yellow some browns to play with so yeah this is the whole palette what I will say about this palette after you know my first impression of using it look at that <laughs> after my first impression of using it is I love it I love the pigmentation I love the colors in this palette I mean it's like I pretty much focus like on the blues and greens threw in some purple today but it's like you can definitely do you know like an orangey yellow look a purple orangey look you know you can do looks with just the browns in here with this beautiful like peanut butter shade it's just, or green shade. So it's just a very nicely well-rounded palette for color lovers. Um, there's no black, so that sucks. There's no white, so that sucks. But, you know, we all got blacks and whites in our collection at this point. So it's not a, a deal breaker for me. But I really, truly bought this for the packaging because I love P. Louise packaging. And their formula is really nice. I've used their formula before and I absolutely love it. So I'm not surprised that I love this palette as well. So now that we've taken a look at the palette and some swatches and you guys have my first impression thoughts, let's jump into this look. Okay, you guys. So as usual, I'm starting out by prepping my eyelids using my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 04. And I'm just blending this out to create a nice even base before I go in with these shadows. So the first shadow that I'm using is Rodeo Drive. And I'm just taking a fluffy brush and tapping that on the inner portion of my crease area. And <laughs> as soon as I place this down, that's when I knew, okay, I'm dealing with some seriously pigmented shadows and I'm going to be a happy camper today. <laughs> so yeah, very, very pretty. Next, I'm going into the dark blue. It's like a navy blue shade called San Francisco. And I really like the names of these shades. You know, this palette being based around world travel and different locations and stuff. I think it's really cool. So anyways, I'm just taking a dense brush and placing down San Francisco going back in with that first shade on that fluffy brush and just blending it out. Next, I'm taking this beautiful green shade called Baggage and using another dense brush just to kind of blend out the edge of that blue. And as you can see, I'm just kind of going back and forth in and out of the palette, making sure that I apply that shade right over the edge of that blue and a little bit on top of the blue, just so it has a nice seamless blend. Now I'm going in with a Q-tip, has a little bit of micellar water on there just to remove some of that shadow. I wanted to go ahead and create a blank canvas before I put on my white cut crease canvas and go in, you know, for my other shadows. So I'm taking my Revolution cut crease canvas in the shade Halo, which is super bright white, and I'm just carving out that cut crease area to give me a nice clean base for my lid. And as you can see, I'm not being super precise with it. Now I'm going back in with some of that super dark navy blue shade and just tapping it in the outer corner. Next, I'm moving on to the purple, and this is the shade First Class. Taking that purple, tapping it right next to that super dark blue, and just blending those two together. Now for the inner portion of my lid, I'm using J'adore Potty, <laughs> J'adore Paris. And I am just spraying my brush to place that down on that first part of my lid and gently blending it into that purple just a bit, you know, so I can kind of bring this lid together. 
I love this shimmer. It's really, really pretty. I love that dark blue. Now I'm going back in with some of that purple just to kind of bring it all together and make sure I have a nice seamless blend for those three shades on my cut crease. Now I've thought about doing a line across my crease, but I started lining it out with dots and realized that the dots were easier for me to do without just completely making a mess of my crease. So I decided to go ahead and just leave the dots, do something a little bit different, and I think it was fun. I'm just using one of my NYX Vivid Bright liners to do that. Tell me what you guys think about the dots. I like them, I think they're different. So I finished my complexion as you can see, popped on some lashes. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going in with one of my LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liners and just taking that on my lower lash line. This one is a super duper bright green. I'm gonna list all of the products down in the description box just in case you're curious about what I'm using. Now I'm just taking a really thin brush and applying some of that navy blue matte shade um, right on the outer portion of my lower lash line. Now I'm going in with that lighter blue shade that I started out with, Rodeo Drive, and just placing that right next to that navy blue shade. And then on the very inner portion of my lower lash line, I'm taking that super bright green shade baggage and just tapping some of that down on the inner corner. I kind of wanted to make the bottom match the top just a little bit. Using some of my Maybelline mascara for my lower lashes. I did use my Ciate London setting spray today. And this is the final look, you guys. I have to say, for my first impression, like I stated in the beginning of the video, I really like this palette. I like the shades. I like the pigmentation. I think it's really, really nice. As you can see, they were very easy to work with, didn't have any issues. I wish there were a few more shimmers, but I really like the palette nonetheless. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!